Welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. I know you all are kind of surprised by the title. The entire chat is just calling me out for cap right now. But Superior is actually relevant again. This beautiful baby set. I love it. My exotic boots, everything. It's just beautiful. And I can finally use it again. It's actually the best current mining set in the game, which is ridiculous that this is what Superior has come to. But I will take it, my guy. So because I don't want to ruin my beautiful OG renowned five star G7 P7 Superior armor, instead I went ahead and bought a whole new set because, you know, I am Refraction. And we're going to be using these new Jade Rolled Reforged Stones, which actually provide mining speed and mining fortune on whatever pieces you put them on. So, of course, I'm going to be putting those on a fresh set of Superior because I don't want to be out here replacing my Renown with these things, okay? Renown is like 10 mil right now. These stones are like 4 mil and Superior is just amazingly cheap at the moment. Probably not after this video, but you know. So now we have Jaded Superior, which gives us a nice 40 25 mining speed and 25 mining fortune but of course we can go and grab some recombobulators so now with jaded we get 60 mining speed and 30 mining fortune which you know you may be thinking you know a whole set of superior with a jaded reforge and recoms just for that superior actually gets even better than that and that's thanks to the whole new gemstone feature with uh this donny over here by the gemstone grinder because superior can actually accept topaz gems so if we go into the bazaar and we go into gemstones we are probably going to take some fine topaz because flawless and perfect well perfect is non-existent and flawless is 40 mil and i doubt yeah there's none being sold right now so we're going to take some fine topaz we're going to need four of that and if you come over to the gemstone grinder you can place a piece of superior in here click on the topaz and it will apply pristine to the superior dragon armor which now you can see we get plus 1.2 pristine on the armor as well and pristine is basically a brand new enchant that means whenever you mine gemstones you have a slight chance chance of getting an increased quality version of that gemstone. Whenever you actually want to mine gemstones, superior is the best way to go about it because that's how you're going to get the most drops from gemstones. And it feels weird using plain superior armor with no skin helmet and non-exotic boots. But you know what? I feel like the nun I am at heart. So yeah, this is actually straight up the best mining setup in the game until Divan's armor. I will concede that once you get Heart of the Mountain 7, there is a super expensive set. You can forge the set over here. If we speak to this guy, you go to item casting you can see divan's armor over here which is actually the best mining set but it is stupidly expensive requires heart of the mountain seven and nobody has it yet so for the time being superior armor is actually the best mining setup out there and it's all thanks to pristine dude if we go over to the mining collection gemstone collection and we look here that's what pristine does for anyone that's curious you can make pristine five and put it on a drill but it is stupidly expensive right now i doubt i'm gonna put it on this drill i'll probably upgrade the drill and then and put it on. We're going to work our way towards Hotum 7 at the moment. I managed to get Hotum 6 last night, which also comes with a sick perk if we go up here. Mole is broken. I'm going to upgrade this as much more as I can because it is ridiculously good. I love the mole perk. Mole is incredible. What do the different gems do? I appreciate you donating that so we can go on to a different segue because I noticed that you should head over to refraction.shop and check out some of the new merch. Segue over. You can actually put gems on my Daedalus Axe. Anything that lets me upgrade that is beautiful. Useful. But if we go into the gemstone guide here, you can see all the different items you can put gemstones on, all the different armor sets. There's more, but they require Heart of the Mountain 7 to actually see them. If we look at the gemstones, Jade will give you mining fortune, Amber will give you mining speed, Topaz will give you pristine, Sapphire will give you intelligence, Amethyst will give you defense, Jasper will give you strength, and Ruby will give you health. There's actually quite a lot of different setups you can make from taking these and putting them on different items. I can't wait to see all the different setups that will come from it and all of the bonuses you'll get in dungeons because obviously they'll be multiplied by your dungeon stats. It could actually be pretty ridiculous, man. Although I don't think there's anything useful that I can put on the Daedalus Axe quite yet. Maybe once there's higher quality ones. Also, Skyblock Extras makes this update an absolute breeze, dude. All of the different waypoints in that are phenomenal. It really makes things a lot easier. So I'm just going to go slash crystal waypoint slimes because one of the commissions is to actually kill sludges. So I'm just going to save that spot for later on. But essentially, all you want to do in here is blast through your commissions as fast as possible because every single one gives you 400 heart of the mountain xp and you can grind it faster than you've ever known dude it is ridiculous the map is basically split up into four different sections you look i got like a weird map at the top left so you can kind of see i think that's a feature on sky tills that's the map it's split into the jungle the precursor city the goblin area and the mithril deposits if you can make it to the middle which is roughly around 500 500 or if you have 
SB. You can just see the crystal nucleus there. It just gives you an easy pathway to each of the different areas on the map. We've arrived at the middle now. This is pretty much the first thing you want to do whenever you get here. Just come to like 500, 500. Getting a coords mod is super useful. But once you're here, you can pretty much see all the different four areas of the map. So you got the goblin hideouts. That's where the goblins are. That's where the queen is. The king is amber crystal, I think. And goblin slayers you can do all over there. You got the jungle entry over here, which is where amethyst is. It's where the slimes are. It's where the tribe members are. And it's where you can get the amethyst crystal from the temple, which you require a jungle key for. You got the mithril deposits over here. We have jade. We have the mines of Devon, which is where you can get the jade crystal. And we also have boss Corleone and the team treasureite members over there, which are like Pokemon characters. And over here, the precursor entry, we have precursor remnants, the precursor city. That's where you can find automatons. It's where you can find the sapphire crystal and it's where you can mine sapphire gems. And down there, if we go down, that's where you can find Yogs, Topaz and Bal, which is like a new magma boss kind of thing, which is ridiculous. Once you find the middle, pretty much, you just want to look at your commissions. So you can see which commissions you have and then kind of decide which section is most efficient for you to go to. But when you first start, you'll actually have commissions to collect crystals. Now, I've already collected all of my crystals a few times. I'm just going to place them all to show you what they do. All you got to do is place them once you have all five on each of these statues over here. And then basically you've completed like a run of the crystal hollows, which will give you a load of rewards over here, which is pretty cool. I got a helix, whatever that does. It's a legendary item, some sort of fossil probably used in some kind of craft. I have no idea, dude, but that's pretty pog. I'll take it. But yeah, you get all kinds of random loot from that. It's insane. And once you've placed all the crystals, you'll have like new commissions to get the crystals again. So if you actually want to grind out of the mountain XP, the best thing you can do is not place your crystals because then you won't get crystal commissions, which take a while and you can just grind XP as much as possible. But when you first start out in here, I'd say it's definitely worth to uh, do the crystal commission. So I'm just going to fly through some commissions now and show you all how to get all of them. It's kind of like a tutorialish video, which is rare from me, I guess. I have such bad commissions right now, man. I'm so sad. I might just go do my Yogg commissions, honestly. At least those are relatively easy to find. Hey, there we go. We got some Yogg. What the frickers? What, what, how, how do I phrase That's a lot of McChickens? That amount of contraband during like an update season? Season, that is rare. That is a rare juicy Pepe, man. No one ever gives contraband during update season, man. Everyone's getting rinsed out on the new gear, all the best stuff. This won't be seen for another few months. Oh, he's actually he's actually gone for it. I was going to say, it's fair enough. Like, that's all the man's hard work. We're now at 5.3 bill. I've never had this many coins in my past before. Trying to get through this Yog Slayer is absolute pain. All right, we got a... Oh, what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I found Corleone. Okay, I think this is a Corleone spawn. I'm pretty sure this is a Corleone spawn, dude. <laughs> right by where you walk in. <laughs> Basically, that's the guy you want to find. If you want to grind this update, you need to find him, dude, because he pops up like every other commission. It is ridiculous. So uh, make it your priority to find him. He spawns either in this little bit here or in like a giant water area or in also like a big crypt looking place. It's really weird. If you have a party of two or three people you basically want to get to corleone and then dig tunnels from him do every single other commission on the map so dig one to the jungle area where sludges spawn where jade crystals also spawn you want to dig one over to the precursor area so you can kill automatons and mine sapphire one to the goblin area so you can mine amber so you can get goblin slayer and you also want to dig down to the yogs area and once you've done that dude you are dripping so now i need to get the sapphire crystal hunter and thankfully average is already digging towards the precursor city so he should be able to uh, find that, hopefully. Some guy here has just put the coordinates in. So he's actually a king. He's at Y69 as well. Nice. Crystal waypoint. Edit setting. Bam. Also, a weird thing about this update I didn't realize. You can place blocks. I like to build little structures by my tunnels like that. Just so I can kind of see them more easily. In fact, I'm going to get my coords here. And I'm going to reset the waypoint to be at my tunnel. Just so I can see it more easily. We got a tunnel straight to the Yogs from Corleone. So we do that. And now we got to find an amber crystal. See, if I didn't have the crystal commissions on, I'd be able to fly through that. Like that crystal commission probably would have been a boss Corleone commission. And
and then I'd just be able to go up here, kill him, and then carry on and go back to wherever I was before. So we want to speak to this guy. The Basically, the sapphire crystal is in there. And to get the sapphire crystal, you need to go around, kill the automatron. So if you run around, you'll see golem spawn. They only spawn when you're close to them. And they drop items. So that's actually super lucky. We just got a super light motor. And we need to find all the different golem parts. So do I have any spare in here? I have an electron transmitter. And I think that's all like, oh, I have a control switch as well. So we need three more after that. He has a 3070 as well. He has a synthetic heart and he has a reflector. We can actually uh, get a 3070 from one of these golems, which is the only time I'll ever see a 3070 for the next few years because, oh my God, they're impossible to get. But you can just cheese it and buy them off the auction house. You know, they may be sold out everywhere IRL, but you can get a 3070 for 130K here, dude. Almost the same price as IRL, man. And once you've given him all of the pieces, which I totally just worked very hard for, chat, don't you worry. You can go in here and nab that and that's our commission done for that one. So now we got to find Amethyst and Amber, dude. How did you find the boss? Honestly, look, he is so hard to find, dude. The only thing we know about Corleone is he has two different spawn locations. Yeah, this is one of them. So if you find this room with like the crypts and the green fire in the middle, he spawns behind this like cobble wall if you dig through it. And he has another one which is in like a giant water area. He kind of spawns like on the dock, which is by a chest. So yeah, those are the two different possible spawn locations for Corleone. He's always in the mithril deposits, always. Other than that, mate, it's complete luck. Honestly, once you find him, you can grind commissions like nonstop until the lobby closes. Each lobby closes when it hits like day six or so. Thankfully, this is still day zero. The goal is basically get your tunnels set up as quickly as possible and just grind hard to the mountain XP, man. And once you have everything set up, it's so fun. Do I have golden dragon yet? No, nobody has a golden dragon yet. Rumors are that 15H might be getting one at the moment, but one, the NPC is extraordinarily rare. Like he is ridiculously rare. I've never seen him and I played this update quite a bit. So he is ridiculously rare. And two, he probably requires so many different items, both from the update and like perfect gemstones and stuff. And if we go on the bazaar and look for perfect gemstones, there's like none. I mean, there's a buy price for Amethyst, but yeah, there's none left. You can't buy perfect gemstones. They just don't exist. You can probably find the NPC that sells him, but the amount of items it must require, like there's no shop. There's not even enough resources in the game to buy it yet, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. We're finally at the jungle temple. So this is the amethyst one, unless I'm sorely mistaken, in which case I've just ran all the way over here for no reason whatsoever. But when you're in here, basically nothing works. Teleporting doesn't work. It disables your speed and jump boost. And you got to think, I wonder why, but basically you need a jungle key, which you can get off the auction house, or you can also find another area where they spawn. It's like a zombie that spawns. You kill the zombie, he drops a jungle key. It's literally a 100% drop chance, but you give it to them and now you're in this park core area. And all you got to do is basically just temple run. And when you get to the end of the parkour, you get the amethyst crystal. But uh, because I'm refraction, I'm going to use a wither cloak and just absolutely cheese my whole way through it. You still lose if you touch the lava, but it makes you not take damage or knock back from the arrows, which is nice. Black cat works. Oh, does it actually? Yo, black cat actually does work. <laughs> Oh, that's sick. All right, so please, is this where you get the jungle hearts? Apparently not, dude. We got a wishing compass. Yeah, give me that crystal. Thank you, game. And again, we get nothing. Ah, well, dude. Now I got to go get a topaz crystal, which means we need to go find a bal. Hopefully, that's the sound of bal I hear. I hope that's bal squishing about, dude. I need your crystal. Yes, he's here. Okay, so to get the topaz crystal, basically, you just need to find wherever bal spawns, which is this giant magma cube. He's in the Kaza Doom area. All you need to do is just bow him to death literally just stay back and bow him. That is it. Eventually he'll die. He has no health bar. You can see it's just question marks up there. You'll know when you kill him because there'll be like a message in the chat. He'll return to the middle. He'll start shrinking and he'll spawn a giant crystal. And he even has a chance to drop a pet, which is pretty cool. I haven't dropped it myself yet. I'll probably just buy a level 100 bar whenever there's one on the auction house. It'd be nice to drop my own pet. I also like dropping things. We've killed him. There we go. The boss looks weak and tight and retreats into the lava. So now he'll just shrink. I like how this area has like its own boss boss fight and everything is it's ridiculous all the different little things we've got everything from puzzles to just quests to parkour to bosses i really enjoy it i really enjoy it you can claim the crystal before he shrinks but it spawns here so hopefully if we right click here 
Boom. We got ourselves the crystal. Like a giant yellow crystal spawns right here. You just right click it and you get it, dude. For the jade crystal, you need to go to the mithril deposits and you'll find it in the mines of the van, which is basically just like a giant area with loads and loads and loads of like fancy blocks at the bottom, like diamond blocks, lapis blocks, gold blocks. It's impossible to miss. And you just go down there with a metal detector and you've just got to search for the different items that each of the NPCs want. It's a pretty long long-winded quest i can't lie especially if you're unlucky all right so we go here i am in them apparently am i under them you'll understand when i find it how i'm so confused as to how we missed it oh my god it was underneath me the entire time but this is it if you eventually find them oh my gosh they're over in the mithril deposits area speak to these npcs eventually they'll give you a metal detector and you need to go down here and scan in the giant loot pile holding your metal detector and you see but my hotbar it shows where treasure is and if we get closer you'll start hearing a ding and obviously it shows the distance like basically a game of hot and cold and you got to go around and scan for all of the different quest items so one of them should be like over here somewhere there we go we'll loot that and it gives us gemstones which is not what we need so i think i have a few spare quest items so we have a lapis sword diamond axe golden hammer oh am i really only missing one you can't buy these ones off the auction house as well because they're quest items which is agony so you can have the gold hammer you can can have the diamond axe and now we need to scam around for the keeper of emerald I have emerald hammer but can i have a golden hammer for it that sounds like a good trade my man that's if i have a golden hammer all right let's put our item drops on thank you my man absolute king after all of that hard work chat right we've given all of the npcs i think and we get our crystal easy clap now all we need is the goblin daddy where is he so there's the amber crystal which we need obviously which is in the goblin queen's area but first we need to go to the goblin king get on his good side and then basically he just like smothers you in his stench which is just really sus then you can bypass the queen's guards because they think you're a goblin which is kind of cool goblin on these nuts <laughs> okay man sule's fed a whole of the lobby and fed the king and queen again i pray dude 350 116 695 do you have queen pause as well or am i running back to my old lob don't have queen no problem oh it's taken so long to find this thing man this has been hell thank you sule's for helping me on this quest but but finally, in order to get the Amber Crystal, you need to locate first the Goblin King. Then you need to find the Goblin Queen. Usually there's like a path between the two. They're not too far away, but you speak to this guy and he'll basically ask you for three Goblin Eggs. So we'll get those out right now. All you need to do is give him the eggs and then he'll cover you in his stench, which is just the weirdest way of phrasing anything ever. You should be able to sneak past the guards in the Queen's area and take the crystal. And it's that easy. Queen at 407-114-666. Too. Thank you, Kipley. But at long last, out of my way, you stinky guard. The crystal is mine. And now you can actually get on to just grinding commissions because all of those hellish commissions, they will all disappear no longer. As long as you don't place the crystals, you can now just go through and do whatever you please and you will never get another crystal commission, which makes flying through the rest of them just ridiculously fast, easy, efficient. It is beautiful, dude. So at long last, we can actually go to grinding some of these things. Oh, it's taken long enough, dude. Yarns has a golden dragon. No shot, Yarns has a golden dragon. SP pets yarns let me see this thing oh my god he actually has one no way cost him 750 mil that is not bad at all once you've found like all of your crystals the number one priority you should have is getting straight to the mithril deposits and finding corleone once you find him you're set all you have to do is just then dig off in each direction from him to every single other area of the map and you can just run between them and fly through commissions and heart of the mountain xp that is literally the entire strategy so now we can do it exactly Exactly as I mentioned, we go here, we kill him, we claim a Corleone commission. Please die. Thank you, my guy. Out of here. Thank you. Yogs. I genuinely don't know how to get over to those guys. I'm going to have to make my own way, dude. Like a blind man at an orgy. I'm going to have to feel my way through things, bro. This is not the vibe. I found the gold dragon NPC. No shot. I'll, I'll come visit you in a second, my man. Good luck remembering those. Hope you enjoyed. No! The lobby is dead. 
chips. Dude, if I can get my goblin commission, then I'll be so happy. If I can't get this done, it's GG. This is actually a pretty solid goblin spawn area. So come on. No, server, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, 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 okay. One more. And boom. That's actually sick, dude. Speed running. Any percent, man. And that is the end of that lobby, unfortunately. It's kind of cool, like, the whole play out that happens when the server restarts, though. Like, how it feels like the caves are actually collapsing and you hear all those scary sounds and that. I really, really like how these things are designed. It's so cool. And that's it. We're kicked out. Let's speak to this man. This man... Wait, that's not his IGN? He said his IGN was the same as in the dono. Your old senpai. So this man said his IGN is the same as what he donated with. He donated with the name Your Old Senpai. His IGN is Martin. Those could not be further apart, my guy. But if you do have the Golden Dragon guy, that's Pog, dude. Golden Dragon NPC. Apparently, uh, when you go like near this dude, you can hear the dragon wings flapping as well. So that should be sick. I want to see this thing. Yo, it does make dragon sounds. You hear that, chat? Okay, so it's pretty hard to miss then. It is pretty hard to miss. Oh my god, yeah, this is very hard to miss. Why we got Wendy up in here? There's actually Wendy? Oh my god, that did Wendy's high pixel skyblock, dude. What is this? Yo, this area is fire. I have not seen this thing yet. Other than obviously in the first initial tweet, like with the screenshot and that. Where is the gamer? Why can I not see him? Wait, click on the balls? Is that how we summon him, dude? We have to click on his nuts? Do not think I'm sleeping, thief. If those eggs are mine, but I'd be willing to sell them against pure gold and gemstones. But are you rich enough? Oh, so we're speaking to the dragon, essentially. There we go. Level one golden dragon head. Perks, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hatches at level 100. Legendary, cost 500 million, 50 enchanted gold blocks, and perfect of each gemstone. Damn, if only there were some gemstones being sold, dude. All right, we'll get the enchanted gold blocks ready. Get it? I can't. I physically can't, even if I wanted to. Like, if I go here, there's no sell offers. There's nothing, man. I don't have a high enough gemstone collection to actually make perfect gemstones. Look, if I want to make uh, perfect gemstones, I need collection level 10, so I can't even, like, buy the mats and craft it. All we gotta do is hope we find this thing again, and then buy it off of him. But that's actually, like, a decent amount cheaper than I was expecting. But how sick is this area, man? What is the point of this update to get Heart of the Mountain 7? Gemstones are the main aspect of this update, dude. Gemstones you can use across the entire game, across different items to upgrade them. Right Right now, we're grinding towards the golden dragon pet and also gemstones. You can put them on armor sets. You can put them on weapons. They give different abilities. There's also power scrolls that you can put on items with different abilities and stuff. To be honest, I haven't looked at the power scrolls yet. I mean, obviously, they look ridiculous. I try just putting this on my pickaxe real quick. We need 16 fine amber gemstones. Yeah, let's have a look, dude. 16. We'll take you. Thank you. And now we need 48 enchanted paper, right? Can we make it? Recipe required. That is topa. Ah, I'm stupid. We'll make a nice little sell order for that topaz. Wait, I'm selling it for 10 mil. I bought it for 7.4. Flipping with refraction, dude. Easy bazaar flipping. Amber power scroll. Sweet. Now, anvil. Get this, get that. Can be combined with any item with a right click item ability at an anvil. This has a right click item ability. I'm at an anvil. What are you chatting, game? No shot, man. I can't put it on my drill? You're kidding me, man. You know, I'm going to put the health one on my Scylla, though. I want to see that. Hopefully, that one actually lets me put it on, dude. All right. Ruby power scroll. Let's see if this one works. Okay, yeah, it must be a reforge anvil. Let's speak with Marie and see if you can help me out, dude. I have a problem. The game is scamming me. Look at the 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 game is what? And uh, now I can re. What is going on with these power scrolls, man? Can be combined with any item with a right click item ability at an anvil. Sign it for science. All right, dude. Oh, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's weird, man. That's so weird. Even with all the alpha testing, no one figured out that these were bugged. That's saddening, man. It has to be base ability, you reckon? Well, it has to be like an ability that's on the item from the start. Say like a pigman sword. All right, let's see just for science if this would work on a pigman sword. Oh, that's weird. Nah, man, what a scam. So because Scylla's item ability doesn't spawn on it, and you can't put them on a Terminator either, but the Terminator comes with its item. Bro, this is weird, champ. Put it on AOTE. Yo, if the healing one can go on an AOTE, that's actually sick. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'll keep that on the AOT for sure, dude. After that little fiasco, I think that's gonna do it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.